Okay guys, this is going to be a different video today. We're going to be looking at trees for some inspiration to help you guys, you know, build some trees in Minecraft, I guess. Um, so I'm on the World of Corral server again. And we are at slash warp trees. And if you guys are looking for some inspiration on how to build trees, this is the right video for you. We're not going to show you how to build them. Um, maybe in a future episode but for right now I'm just going to show you guys some inspiration that you guys could possibly get for building trees now this is a custom resource pack so that's why the trees have like these little leaves sticking out from them and then these points right here that are going to be on every single tree are copy and paste points so basically you would just do slash slash wand if you have world edit position one and then down here, right click position two, and then slash slash copy, and then wherever you want it, you can paste it. So that's why those are there if you guys are gonna be wondering. So um, let's get right into it. So Emperor Nick's Tree Emporium. Mm -hmm. So people in the World of Corral server will use these uh, use this custom mort with the trees and paste them in their builds and that's completely fine people do that all the time so I'm just here to help you guys get some inspiration on building trees today got like a little warmer climate type of tree right there got your classic spruces Looks like a fall variant. And this looks like um, birch leaves with spruce mixed in. Let me try different shaders. Let's see if they're easier to see. Not with that glare on them. This is a big boy right here. Big tree. If you guys are looking for some inspiration on building trees, there's plenty here. No. I think there's regular trees and then there's fall variants for this area. Pretty cool. Pretty cool tree designs. Let's head over here and check these ones out. a cool birch tree like that you know you don't have to build these exact you know you can just look at it and then go off of what you see nothing it doesn't always have to be exact you know this is just inspiration to help inspire you to build something similar in your own unique way that's the whole point of building stuff when it comes to this, you know, nobody likes copiers. You know, you gotta make it your own, make it unique, make it interesting. Oh, that's a cool tree. That's a beautiful tree. What is that? Wow, that's a beautiful oak tree. Look at that. Now if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. That's amazing. Let's check this one out too. These are all nice. I feel like I'm in a park right now. 
And then this is a creative plot, I'm pretty sure. So, so this is somebody's actual plot on the server. That you can warp to, to get, to copy these trees and paste them in your own builds on the server. People do that all the time, perfectly fine with that. Nothing wrong. And then you can't do this in survival, this is world edit. But still looks nice. These are just some gorgeous trees, wow. It's a pretty cool tree. Again, you can't do this in survival, unfortunately. Unless you have a block underneath it, I think you can place ferns on blocks, like leaves and stuff. I think it might have to be, I think it might just be grass though, unfortunately, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with that, not gonna lie. Did we look at that one? Yeah, we already looked at that one. And here we got the big oak trees over here. Beautiful trees. Wow, this is amazing. That's a cool one. Oh, that's definitely oak tree right here. So yeah, if you want to check this place out for yourself, it's on the World of Corral server and it's slash uh, warp trees. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself if you ever need inspiration on building trees. Custom trees really make a huge impact on builds. Unique trees, they give it gives it a whole new feel to it, not just a regular vanilla Minecraft tree. If you actually take the time and effort to build your own trees in your builds, it's going to significantly increase the wow factor of your build everyone likes unique trees that's pretty cool I think that's a sandstone base yeah with birch that's pretty cool looks like it's you know you could say that this was in the water for a while and it kind of faded the bottom part of the tree or whatever that happens in some places yeah, that's pretty cool. And we got some more spruce trees over here, looks like. Always love, always love my spruce trees. Always got love for them. So that's a, that was a little too thick. from my taste but I really love this one right here these trees were uh, surrounding the first house for the video I did on this channel these trees were the ones that were surrounding it so that's pretty cool to see them here so we got a cherry blossom tree I'm not a tree expert I don't know which what type of tree each tree is there's like thousands of trees different types of trees but yeah this is just to get you guys a feel some inspiration this is the ones i build in my survival world i really love these birch ones i'm a big fan of those and these i always build like these trees too big oak tree I'm guessing and then different trees and more massive oak trees it looks like I don't know what kind of tree that is it's like the trees you see in the south like swampy areas but yeah 
that's about it, I think. Um, let me go back here and then show you guys what they look like in a build. So these are the same trees that we were just looking at. And here they are pasted in an actual build on the server for a park design. So always cool to see people using this kind of stuff. And it's dark because the layout, the blueprint, the footprint, and architectural terms, blueprint, no footprint for the uh, city, the layout is up here. So this is how people build on the World of Corral server. Uh, like you gotta actually plan it out like real urban planning and figure out where you want stuff to go and how it's gonna look on a figurative scale. So this is gonna be like a scale model. I think this is like a one to 10 or one to five scale. And we're somewhere over here in the park area, like in this spot. And then this, this is like the Capitol building. It's gonna be right over here. Right here is where that's at. So this is how people build. And this is the Philadelphia State Capitol building, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the Philadelphia State Capitol building. Pretty cool. And then that's where their inspiration derived from. And then we got a statue, and then we got the trees again for the park. I don't ask what that is. And then yeah. So um, trees and landscaping really bring a build alive to life. Um, always love to see them in people's stuff so yeah if you guys are looking for some inspiration on uh, trees or urban development then this is hopefully this video helped you guys a little bit some landscaping right here pretty cool but I think that's about it for that um, there's not really much else to see here yet like I said the server is the new world is a couple months old, so there's not a whole lot on it to see. So, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and yeah, see you guys in the next one, I guess. Um, yeah, just kind of awkward. I don't really know how to end the video, but yeah, I'm just gonna say. Uh, like that. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.